What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video, and today we're playing Persona 5 Strikers. I'm not really, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really into the whole, not really into the whole game, but, uh, hopefully you guys can, uh, like and subscribe for, uh, you know, show, give me, get my watch time hours in for this. And, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, check out my other videos. Check out my Far Cry 6 video that I just made yesterday. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's play. Let's get started and play Persona 5 Strikers. You know, I'm, not, I'm into anime, but I'm not, in, you know, I'm not really. This game's not really, you know, it's more of an anime more than a game. But I'm still playing it for you guys because I care. Because I want to. Because I'm interested in it for some reason. That was the longest, in the longest intro I've ever seen. All right, we're gonna start a little game because we already last episode, last episode that I made like over a half a month ago, I uh, started to uh, came back even though I didn't really, you know, know what to do. But you know. Hmm. I see. What? This over here? Damn! So that's it. So, what do you think, Futaba? How's Sophia's code look? Well, her programmer is a genius. No doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code. Not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Oh, that's a serious program. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma Old Hat. Old Hat? When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes Old Hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. Okay. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? Well, we're at it. Did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name? Or a company's, maybe? <sighs> Nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. Uh, we got this. Don't stay up too late, okay? I can, I, I can walk home. Okay, walk home. I'm good. It's just around the block. Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. 
she made like a tree? Say goodnight to Buddha and then went to bed. Boy, was that a hell of a day. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. There, all we can do is get ready. I just wanted to have fun. All we can do is get ready. Yep, that's right. If we went into this half cocked, we'd be disgraces of phantom thieves. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge myth, says the talking cat. Uh, good point. Some mystery app? By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... inarguably true. Ah, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. Is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... Uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Heart? Uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them. Human heart. Look, just, just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay, that is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep, so long as it's good with our leader. Of course, let's do this together. Work that AI Let's do this together. Okay, we'll do this together. And then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. Okay. Good night, Morgana. Alright. I hope you prepared to find out that this is more of an anime than it is than it is a game. Went to our former hideout and just went to go check out the jail together. Great, everyone's here. We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being faced by this. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bring it. We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um. No, we just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Then let's do this thing. All right, fine. We're getting into action. I hope you're prepared to see like more more story in anime than it is the game.
The jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers. Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? What was up with that? That may have been a desire. You, Phantom Thieves! form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. I've never seen an outfit like that. Can I try moving it? Moving? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes. Well, it looks like a sweater. Sophia. That's too long. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. Uh, no floofing. By the by, how does it more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires... Are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things. What use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped can tell us something. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? Couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow is the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No. That was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves or we'll just be doing damage. Let's look into Alice, let's look into the victims, let's catch some Z's. Let's look into Alice. Got it! Uh, but... What are we gonna do? Crash in some random store opening probably only works once. Let's say we get into that once we're out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Like, why would we just, we just sit foot into the dimension and then walk right out? Like, we didn't even do anything. Well, we've confirmed the presence of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or 
other messed up stuff. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. Oh god, not this again. I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh... Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. What? For real? How? Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah! Way to go, Lady On! But I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. Why is everybody looking at me for? Like, it's ridiculous. Ugh. Well, that settles that. We are counting on you. Get this shit <laughs> so I can get some evidence out of it. I think myself here for some reason. I got it covered. How exactly? Oh, I cannot wait. I got it covered. Ooh, you really are ready for this. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. I love how they just look at the main protagonist and say, yep, you're doing it, and no questions asked. Like, seriously. Let's go. My god, not this again. The same people. Really found them? Well, the same people. Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. Which one is There's people? still one thing. They're all acting real weird. The the weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah. Like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but this seems so much worse than that. 
Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help. It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? That's right. Uh, tomorrow is door die time. Yep, that's right. You know, same yep. people. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on it. Coming back. Hmm. Boss, this curry is fantastic. Oh, thanks. A certain TV show filling state location. So this is going out live, huh? Yes. Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. Gave yourself in there quite on the set. Well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. Should I also make a Yeah, just hang. No problem. Ooh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, she really is adorable. Riding back from commercial. Back in five, four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating rumors? What is all this, huh? 
I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. All right, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it. I can't live without you. What? What the hell? And what about me, asshole? Is this real? Those two were engaged already, right? Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Cut the commercial! Now! I'm begging you, Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? on TV, right? I can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think that host had his desire taken by Alice? I can't know for sure. He was just convincing to her, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like, what kind of professional host would do that on live TV? True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like, he wasn't even there. Someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lee. But that would mean... Alice really is guilty. She's brainwashing people. She's taking those desires. She's... Yeah, she's brainwashed. Yeah. Looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and... I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. <laughs> Man, that was great. That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady On. Once Lady On had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Is it the same as with Kamoshira? That's a good point. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like. What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palette. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent, Morgana. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question, why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. 
until Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should, why not do so? She has to own up for her crimes. People can change. It's part of the fantasy code. People can change. I do not understand. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where's the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart. That's right. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take- We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got- I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart. You're already one of us, fine by me. What do you all think? You're already one of us. Thank you. Hero. <laughs> Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Well, let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's blowing. Snowy, Sophie, or... Let's just keep the name it is. It's basically her name. I like it. You do? Sophia in this world, and Sophie in the metaverse. Radical, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you're all... I am constantly learning things. Don't pick up any off-putting lingo, okay? Yeah, like okay. the F word. <laughs> now we need to come up with our first mission. Or the S word. <laughs> or any other curse slang words in it, for that matter. Even the N word. We're going back to, we're going back to jail, we're going to stop Alex. Good. This feet. I was one of those- We may not know the victims personally, but- As long as there are people in trouble, I- You're right. We're- I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right! You don't register yourself like that. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. As the reforming game was on, Bond skills can be purchased. that provision is prevention. Since you're the guy with all the connections, I'll do the shopping to you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Hey. No, we're pretty much gonna end it. We're pretty much gonna end it here, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry that there was no actual gameplay, but it was more like an anime than a gameplay. But please check out my, my gaming channel, check out my gaming playlist. Consider subscribing if you're new, like, if you're enjoying this at least as an anime, as a TV show, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will see you in the next video real soon. Peace.